one has done it so far, let me wish you a very happy Thursday, wherever you are at this moment. You're going to uh, see an Alfred Hitchcock movie now, and if we are to believe the biographers, Mr. Hitchcock was one of Hollywood's most famous tyrants. We are told that he felt actors made no more of a contribution to a film than the sets, you know, costumes, chair, any other element he thought he controlled. And he assumed that he also controlled actors, every movement, just as he controlled everything else. When Mr. Hitchcock cast Marlena Dietrich, Marlena Dietrich, in the movie we're going to see now, Stage Fright, everyone in the industry waited with bated breath. Ms. Dietrich was a lady who knew specifically what she wanted from a role and knew more than any other actor or actress about the intricacies of lighting, costume, makeup. In fact, she even carried her own Hollywood Electrician's Union card. So when filming for Stage Fright began, actually began in London, Ms. Dietrich took many of the crew members aside and issued her own instructions. Well, the crew members knew that Mr. Hitchcock did not tolerate any creative or technical input on his films that didn't come from him. So they went to the director and told him what was going on. And to their amazement, this tyrant, Mr. Hitchcock, told them to follow Dietrich's orders and do everything she asked. Alfred Hitchcock called Dietrich a professional star and also a professional cameraman, art director, editor, costume designer, hairdresser, makeup person, composer, producer, director, he said. He wasn't being facetious. Dietrich in some ways was all of those. This is a movie about role playing and masks and false identities and creeping in reality. Let's watch Jane Wyman, Marlena Dietrich, Michael Wilding, and Alfred Hitchcock's Stage Fright. 